include the whole pitch. And I encourage you to iterate on these. So what I mean by that is if you go into add templates, you know, I give you the words of the, of the ad. Now this is my most recent one. Obviously I haven't removed the, the state and or the utility. So make sure that you read through this and correct my spelling errors and grammar errors even, but ultimately remove the market and the, the uh, utility, switch it out to what you need. But what you can do is you can iterate on these and you don't even have to, where does this ad end? Holy shit. That's a long one. It's the whole pitch though. You see what I'm saying? You can copy this, go over to chat GPT. Now, if you're not signed up for this, go ahead. It's like 40 bucks. It's the most powerful AI or one of the most powerful AIs on the planet. Uh, I've upgraded to chat GPT four. Um, let's see what chat GPT four can do with this message. So I'm going to say, please, uh, rewrite this, uh, Facebook ad copy about solar power to sound more enthusiastic and funny. Oh fuck, I didn't even paste it. Look, it's just gonna write me one. It's giving me examples. Here, let's do this again. See how it just takes the initiative? It's pretty, pretty awesome. bottom of this ad again and you can even say spit out five versions of a funnier more enthusiastic solar ad isn't that funny let's do that let's pre please rewrite this Facebook ad copy please five sound more enthusiastic and funny. I just close everything in parentheses or quotations. I'm not sure if it's needed. Let's see what it does. Howdy Texans. If you're an Encore AEP or Centerpoint smart meter holder, better fasten your cowboy hats because this news might blow you off your horse. Ever heard of the Clean Power ka program rolled out in June of 2022? The U.S. government funded initiative could reduce your energy bills to less than the price of your weekly barbecue ribs, which could be high. I don't know if I like that. Sounds unbelievable. We will well believe it, partner. It's high time in Texas. It's high time Texas homeowners knew that they could be raking in thousands of dollars to upgrade their ranches with sunlight catching, energy saving, solar panels, all thanks to Uncle Sam's Clean Power Act. Click learn more and take our quick as a whip solar roof quiz. Why clean power? Well, since the electricity rates have shot up faster than a jackrabbit on a hot griddle, both state and federal governments are doling out billions to ease the financial heat off of you. It's beating me now. Oh, it's going into the second copy. So. Are these perfect? No. Um, what I typically do is I copy and paste these and then I'll add my own and then I'll, I'll change it around a little bit, but it does give you some pretty cool word tracks that are going to pull in from your particular market. I mean, you can literally say like, if you're running an ad in Boston, you can say, write this solar ad like a Boston native <laughs> in it. Watch, let's do this. Um, please write a version as a Boston native. Let's see if it gets it. <laughs> see, this would be good for me because I'm from Massachusetts and I'm in Texas. So, hey there, you wicked smart Texans. <laughs> wow. This is funny. Uh, U.S. government back cover for me. So anyway, I, I think you guys get the point. Uh, this is just an easy, powerful tool that you can use to get multiple ad copies because you really want to just have different versions of this stuff. You don't want to run the same exact version as something else. I mean, you want to put your own flavor. You want to pull people in from your specific market. If there's a specific rebate or incentive or rec credit, what have you, or property code. I mean, in Texas, it's a 100% property tax exemption. That's pretty cool, right? And when people hear that, 
it's a hook, right? It, it creates tension to learn more. And that's all this is, everyone. It's an arbitrage of information. Salespeople arbitrage information behind a sales pitch. That's how it works. So, I mean, the the, the goal is to, is to create the knowledge gap in the marketing so that people, they don't know because if they don't know as a human, you want to solve a puzzle. That's how we're wired. So they want to know uh, the answer. So we just have to create the question at the beginning. You see, so that's how it all works. So there you go. That's how you do that. Um, and, you know, once you're ready, you know, once you've augmented the pictures, uh, you know, inside of um, Canva and downloaded them and you've got your primary text, um, your headlines, your call outs and these, you know, you could even, let's do this. Uh, first of all, this own a smart meter. You'll freak out. Everyone uses this. It's one of the best solar hooks, but I think you have that's ever been created. It still pulls like the Mack truck today. I'm, I'm saying everyone uses it. Not as like, don't you don't use it. I'm saying everyone uses this. So it's badass. So use it. Let's see if we can make it better though. I know I'm just playing around with ChatGPT on this training, but I want you to use it. Give me three variations of this Facebook ad copy headline. Again, I don't know if this punctuation and parent or, uh, quotations are necessary. I just do them. Hold on to your hats, digital smart meter owners. This news might just make you a make you do a double take. Hmm, not bad. Got a digital smart meter? Brace yourself. This revelation could blow your circuits. Hmm, not bad. I think it's just missing the call out, obviously, but that's what I would do uh, is just add in a call out, maybe sh shorten these up a little bit. Because if you look at the room that you have below the image, this is the headline. So you got to kind of fit, you got to kind of fit the whole thing in. And honestly, do you qualify as one of the best performers? I, it's hard for me to beat it. It's funny because the next page is do you qualify as well? So it's really concrete and connected. So And that's what they're going to do. They're going to go see if they qualify. So it's like telling you the action that you're going to take on the landing page. That's basically what this space here is meant to do. It's meant to tell the person to take the action on the next page. So when they click the button and they get to the next page and it's it's correlated with what the headline said, it's like confirmation that this isn't a scam. You see, it's all psychological. Like we have to see when we hit the landing page, if it's something completely fucking different, they're gonna be like, wait a minute, this is, I'm bouncing. But if it's like, hey, do you qualify for this Texas clean power program? You know, or the power payback? Um, and you can find out in this short amount of time. So that is my spiel on getting your marketing ready for launch. The next video is going to cover a little bit of that too, but I wanted to just get this on this video so that you guys can be prepared to launch your first campaign.